Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about another troubleshooting step for Nest.js. We have written a lot of code right and there is always a possibility that error can come. Cyclic dependency error can come. Unable to resolve this particular class. Unable to resolve this particular dependency in this particular module. Maybe you have forgotten to export a particular service from a module. Different different type of error we have seen. But this is important, cyclic dependency error. And what is the use case here? I mean, most of the time it doesn't happen, but some in some particular edge case, there is a situation where there are two modules which are dependent on the services of each other, like user module, auth service. Auth service needs to access the uh, user, user database. So it needs to go to the user service. User service needs to know the authentication or status of the user. So both are interdependent. And this is called a cyclic dependency issue. If you try to create a something simple, like you just create a user module and config module or user module auth module, and you are not writing any supporting code to allow the dependency injection, Nest.js will not allow you to bootstrap the application because Nest.js says dependent, cyclic dependency is not allowed. So how we are going to troubleshoot it? I'm going to prepare this demo. So I have a user module and a config module, config module, config service, user module, user service, user service will be dependent on config service, config service will be dependent on the user service. So config module is dependent on user module, user module is dependent on the config module. Okay, cyclic, A depend on B, B depend on o, on A. So is tarah ki cyclic dependency ki wajah se, they are not able to instantiate themselves. Right. So here let's create a user service. And here I user service is using config service. And similarly, this config service will be using user service. So I'm just preparing this demo user service, user service is a provider. Now we'll go to the config service, inject a user service here. And injecting just injecting is just fine. We don't need to use the service for the demo. So this is the user here. And now if I try to start the application, what will happen? So open this in integrated terminal, npm run start. This is how also you will be running the application. And all these code is shared based on uh, the day I am putting for the video. So here you can see the big message. Let's try to read it. App service is not a provider, app module. Okay, I need to first input app config module. So this is the step one of resolving the error. User module is using user service, but I haven't imported the config module here, right? So inside a user module, I need to provide a dependency of app config module so that I can use the config service inside a user service. Step one is resolved. Now I got this thing. Let's go to config module and import the user module here because we are using user service okay this is also resolved now user module now i should see something else uh, circular dependency between modules so use forward reference to avoid this how to use that i mean next is message itself telling you to use the forward reference simple there are four places you need to update the code in both the modules and in the both the services where you are doing dependency injection just use forward reference and so this is the situation it's like a and b is dependent on b b is dependent on a so i'm just using this forward reference here forward reference app config module same you need to do inside the config module for a user module so this is we are doing inside a user module for config module forward reference config module now go to the your other place which is your config module copy it and inside config module, uh, replace it with the user module. So this is the step one to fix it. Now step two will be inside a services where we are injecting it, injecting the user service and config service interchangeably. So here, uh, let's go to our service. The, the issue is still persist. So here we need to inject, inject forward reference user service. So Next.js knows, okay, user explicitly allowing me allowing to have this kind of a dependencies available so nextjs won't give us a trouble because we explicitly telling him to resolve the dependencies for us and our application works that's it 
so this is how you can this is how you can resolve the dependencies uh, cyclic dependency issue in the nest js